always ensure there is sufficient fluid in the flusher before each use. The red light on the electrical box will indicate if the ATF is low. Plug the flusher's motor and heater cords into a 110 volt, 20 amp, grounded electrical outlet. Ensure nothing else is plugged into it. Flip the heater switch up to turn on the heater. Allow 15 minutes for the flusher to reach an operating temperature of at least 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Install the appropriate adapters to the cooler inlet and outlet lines. Refer to the return line guide if necessary. It was included with the instructions or can be accessed on the downloads page of our website. We have removed several different coolers and cooler lines from vehicles for the purposes of demonstrating the adapters. Notice we are also connecting the flusher's hoses here. Connect the red pressure hose to the cooler outlet line. Connect the blue return hose to the cooler inlet line. Connect your shop air to the flusher. Please note that the quick connect fitting on the air injection valve has a one-way check ball to keep ATF from entering your shop's air system. Do not remove or replace this fitting. If your shop air coupler is not compatible, use the coupler provided. Secure the fluid purge hose in an oil-based container. Turn on the motor to purge the initial most dirty fluid from the cooler or lines you are about to clean. Make sure the fluid purge handle is in the purge position. You will typically be purging between one pint and one quart to ensure you're removing the dirtiest ATF from the cooler line. Always return the purge valve to the flush position 